We know that this is what teachers and their unions had really been fighting for to get on that priority list immediately. And of course, if you've been following the news, you know that this is a 180 from the governor and the state superintendent who kept pushing back on teachers, saying that the state could indeed open schools safely without vaccines under CDC guidelines. Instead, the state kept focusing on health care workers and people older than 65. Well, that changed yesterday when President Biden said that he would like educators to get their shot by the end of March. It was welcome news for educators, offering them a sigh of relief. I was so happy. It made me so happy to feel like I was valued as a professional. I was valued as a person. And it also made me really happy to think that maybe, you know, maybe now we can go back to school if we get vaccinated and then maybe I can finally meet some of my students, which would make me really, really happy. There are roughly 160,000 public and private K through 12 school employees in Washington state. They can start making appointments right away and the same goes for daycare workers as well. But now is the second issue. Uh, when will they be able to get their vaccine? As we know, there has been a supply issue. That is something that we've been covering for several weeks now. However, with a third vaccine on its way, um, the president says that uh, we could have all adult Americans vaccinated by the end of May. So something to keep looking forward to in terms of timeline there. That's a story from Shoreline this morning. Michelle Lee, King 5 News.